This conference, the will, now be, this conference will now be recorded. Academy. The primary objective of the Atal Academy is to help the quality education in the country, to help and support technical institution in research, innovation through training. A total of five FDPs has been sanctioned by the Atal Academy. These five FDPs has to be conducted in the month of May and Why is not audible? Internet of things is growing fast, and future people daily needs upon the internet Sorry. every day internet has become the people of life and its basic need in addition to the food cloths and shelter these are main uh, that means internet is uh, very needy to the people when compared with food clothes and shelter in some of the countries right to have internet has already been included as a fundamental right the internet refers to the billion of physical devices around the world that are now connected to the internet all connecting and sharing the data it is possible to turn anything from something like a small as pill to something as big simultaneously huge volume of actionable data which can automate large amount of business processes every day network and iot to overcome challenges to increase capacity using artificial intelligence the internet of things devices such as machines and sensors are expected to generate it is data bytes of data by 2025 this has been predicted by international data corporation iot will grow at a compound annual growth rate of 28% over 2020 to 2025 according to the projection of the statistical research department 75.44 billion devices will be connected with the iot worldwide by 2025 IoT technology is the next major step in making the world as connected place. Uh, here are very good number of speakers we have uh, today. Doctor uh, Professor Shiva Kumar Sir will be taking the session. He is from the Santa Clara University, USA. So he'll be uh, taking the session in IoT and use cases. how to build up iot system iot hardware and software platforms iot use case
IoT introduction to packet tracer, how to install and configure IoT devices, exploring, deploying, and cabbing devices in packet tracer, create a simple network using the packet tracer, and uh, controlling devices and appliances from smartphone in packet tracer, and uh, how to design a smartphone <laughs> packet tracer. Exploring and adding IoT devices to the smartphone and diabetic patients related to the diabetic patient healthcare IoT solutions on packet tracer, diabetic patient healthcare on IoT solutions. And myself, I'll be dealing on 15th of May. IoT applications in agriculture use cases, various use cases, and these are the different different uh, uh, like uh, uh, sessions will be included within this five days. Now, uh, Professor Radha Krishna Garu to address the participants. Thanks, Raju, uh, and uh, respected director. Uh, my faculty colleagues, Professor Shiva Shukumar, and uh, participants. I welcome all of you for this uh, online uh, FDB program. This is the uh, first of its kind uh, online FDB program from our department, uh, Department of Computer Science and Engineering from NIT Waranga. So our department actually established in uh, 1991. Uh, and it is also excellent in the academics, uh, research, and innovation in multiple areas. Uh, one of the research areas is uh, Internet of Things, and uh, the faculty started working in the uh, modeling, conceptual modeling aspects of it. And some faculty are working in the core infrastructure's point of view, and other faculty are uh, doing research in the area of machine learning and artificial intelligence area, where we can use a lot of uh, data discovery techniques. Uh, if you look at this online FTP program, it's a, like a benefit for many of us, uh, though it, it reduces the cost and travel, a lot of travel, and it is also useful for many participants can be, can be, uh, can join this kind of a programs, and we can train multiple people. And this FTP program having a very good number of sessions, and I hope that you will be, get benefit out of this uh, uh, these interesting sessions, and then you, if you go through the our uh, FDP schedules, which will be having talks from different uh, eminent professors so across the country, uh, so from the industries, and come to this uh, IoT uh, area itself, the research uh, how it is going up, and as we focus in the computer science, the first generation mainframes and second generation client server architectures. Uh, now we are in this is going in a third generation where the social, mobile, big data, cloud aspects are coming up along with the IoT. And the, this IoT itself is generating new kinds of the data. And as the new kinds of the data itself leads to the a new generation of architectures. Uh, look at the, the data generated at the source level, mostly the sensors. And the data that is used by the leveraged by the applications where they we call like a smart uh, smart solutions. And there's a large gap between the sensors and the smart solutions. So this kind of IoT technology bridges the the, uh, from the data source to the uh, data useful for the smart solutions. And within this, the technology is evolving from the edge computing and then fog computing where the competition also distributed across the things. And look at the, the our traditional architectures like a MVC kind of architectures. Now we are going into a different kinds of architectures for solving the lot of problems in the IoT. And then this is a, like a revolutionizing the lot of business models, so not only in the academy, even in the industry, they're looking that they're coming with like a new business models to develop for the different kind of solutions. So yeah, that means there is a lot of business value is generated other than the, the only the core research and the technology. 
So with these few things, I, I congratulate the uh, our uh, faculty colleague, uh, Dr. Raju Bukia, uh, who actually taken initiative and then uh, starting this kind of uh, online FDB program. Uh, and I welcome all of you once again to this uh, FDB uh, program. I, I wish that you all enjoy these sessions and will them benefit out of these things. And of course, because of the online sessions and everything, we may miss the networking physically, but we have always have a social uh, media activities in our uh, hands, like uh, Twitter, Facebook, everything that we can interact with, even the through emails. And uh, one good uh, thing is we don't miss our home food. So uh, I hope that you all have a uh, enjoying this, uh, sharing the knowledge from the speakers, and I wish all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request Professor Shivakumar Matipati, uh, Professor uh, Santa Clara University, to deliver his valuable speech to the participants. Thank you, Here, is my audio yeah. Am I audible? Okay. All right. So, okay. I think my my uh, system is also on here. Let me check here. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Sorry, it's a initial uh, teething problem. Though we have been talking uh, internet of thing, always uh, we have a challenge of uh, getting uh, you know the connections uh, made. You know, uh, so uh, Dr. Raju, if in case uh, our team, in case if I'm not audible, please do uh, chat me, or my phone is also on. Please do chat me. The objective is to we need to communicate uh, from this end to that end. Also, I need to learn from uh, that end to on the US end. You know? So again, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Shiva Kumar Mathapati. Uh, in short, uh, it's a long name. Please call me as uh, Shiva. I'm like uh, Dr. Raju introduced. Uh, I'm based in uh, San Jose. Uh, I am the adjunct faculty in multiple university, uh, starting from Santa Clara University, a Northeastern uh, University, and uh, UC San Diego. So my specialization is on the Internet of Things, machine learning, and uh, artificial intelligence. So I also have a second role uh, that I'm the CTO and co-founder of uh, two companies. Uh, one is based in uh, Fremont, uh, California, and uh, one in uh, Bangalore. Uh, this is called Expanse, uh, which I would be inviting my colleagues also to join uh, this whole two days program. And thanks again for uh, hosting me. It's a very uh, you know incredible arrangements. You know, hosting uh, 250 plus participants is not that a simple one. So uh, with that, uh, I would. Uh, you know, thank uh, Professor uh, N. V. Uh, Ramana Rao, Director, and Professor Radha Krishna, uh, Head of the Department, and Dr. Raju Bukia for uh, you know having me here. Thank you very much, sir. So uh, you know, uh, my talk for next two days is going to be you know more on uh, starting with the founding, the how we can build the foundations on the IoT, and next go on to the you know applications area. What applications I have been researching here in US and in globally and then bring uh, some of the components together and try to show to the uh, faculty uh, welcome all uh, faculty uh, you know i see that a lot of enthusiasm i think i see about 169 participants uh, you know that's a very good uh, gathering so uh, like other you know uh, dignitaries already they mentioned you know iot is uh, becoming a very prime area a very very core component uh, for last four years uh, i have been researching on iot and uh, you know, I have been visiting NIT uh, Warangal. I had a chance to meet, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Raju Bukia hosted uh, two GAN program and two uh, E and ICT program. I was there physically, and I see the enthusiastic uh, thing which comes from the NIT Warangal. 
now they're participating globally so uh, i think like uh, you know other uh, dignitaries they mentioned number of devices are going to up the number of connections are going to up number of requirement are going to up edge computing is coming up cloud computing is coming up fog is also coming up uh, now recently last two weeks uh, you know our president college president uh, he hosted a new research area uh, that how iot can enable uh, under this uh, you know covid 19 uh, pandemic outbreak you know so what iot can do it you know so we are working out uh, some projects hopefully i will be able to share uh, some of them in my next uh, two days what uh, iot really can help uh, under this uh, you know uh, covid 19 situations what we have and one of the area we thought is we will have an virtual lab which is an online lab we already set it up here um, in my home office i set it up two computers uh, and two hardware and the actuators and the sensors and in bangalore we have set it up a few hardware and sensors my colleagues will uh, talk about that and then uh, you know moving forward uh, my president you know he said that okay why don't we have a bigger scale of iot so that globally any university can log in there we are building an iot platform where anyone can uh, globally can access those hardware actuators and the uh, microcontroller as well as the cloud platform hopefully by winter which is uh, by september uh, we should uh, have that kind of an facility i can share more details on that so uh, now for the next uh, two days i think i will uh, now uh, you know uh, talk on the what we are going to talk about on the agenda so uh, basically i will start with uh, introductions uh, to the iot it's a very generic most of your faculty most of your you know uh, dignitaries already know the subjects i already talked about it i talk about the introductions to iot then standards and protocol and i'm going to talk about what are the standards uh, protocol we are going to use it or we are using it at uh, you know uh, at uh, the university here as well as we have an organization called national institute of uh, you know um, software and technologies basically what they do is that uh, it's a department uh, program national science foundation program they provide us uh, the you know uh, specifications i'm one part of their specification for the smart city i'm going to share that also but more so i want to share how iot can really enable on this uh, covid 19 and also how as an instructor or as a researcher how you can access remotely the lab and still continue that right i mean we have to continue our show we cannot just stop it here so you can we'll have an opportunity to log into my system and see how we can do that maybe i will give a chance to one or two uh, faculty over there they can log into my hardware and they can you know do still an iot uh, projects you know so uh, then we talk about the uh, iot use cases uh, after standards and protocol how the use cases is going to help you know what are the use cases generally we can we can comply on that and then some uh, you know the uh, protocols you know i'm sure you know most of you know that i'm going to talk about the protocol especially when you are connecting from hardware to the microcontroller you know like i square c uart and uh, gpio port i'll go a little bit deeper in that so that we know that what kind of sensor we can always plan to connect to an hardware so then uh, comes to the cloud right i mean iot is nothing but three components right we have a sensor actuators microcontroller uh, connectivity i'll add another part of connectivity and the fourth one is the cloud you know so i am going to go through the uh, cloud and then uh, how what are different kinds of a cloud Uh, in, available in the market whether you can build a cloud of yourself i'm going to walk you through that uh, cloud uh, platform and then uh, comes the real hands on you know uh, i want to at least uh, display some of this uh, hardware and then you can log in it remotely and you can you know uh, do some kind of an experiment along that so uh, agenda is pretty much packed in fact i have just derived from one semester or one quarter to two days program because i given two days time i will be there as much as possible i am based in california it's almost uh, you know 9 10 o'clock here 10 uh, pm so i will be there uh, hopefully i'll not fall asleep uh, i told my wife that get me some tea so she prepared so hopefully i will be live but my colleagues will be more than me in the in the late afternoon session they will really go to that and i will come back tomorrow then you know we will uh, move more go into the more uh, you know detailed uh, you know projects on that 
so uh, with that i think uh, again thank you very much for the you know dignitaries for giving me this opportunity uh, maybe dr raju uh, you want me to continue or uh, you know i don't know what is your agenda i can straight away uh, starts uh, sharing my slides i have prepared some slides based on my semester teaching and research i can start uh, sharing those or uh, you know uh, i don't know what is if uh, another speaker wants to you know uh, say their thoughts uh, i can pause here and then i can take it to the next uh, sessions you know yeah. dr raju over to you thank you sir thank you uh, for sharing your views uh, we will start the session shortly uh, now i request our beloved director nv ramana rao garu to address the participants so a uh, very good morning uh, on behalf of the national institute of technology varangal and the aicd training and learning academy atal uh, we invite all the participants to the inaugural function of this uh, five day course on internet of things a topic which is of great relevance in the present day next uh, I welcome also the head of the department professor p radhakrishna and the adjunct faculty professor shivakumar matapati of santa clara university in fact who is the main uh, course lecturer and uh, and uh, dr raju bukia the coordinator of the atal course uh, which is being organized with the department of computer science and engineering at nit varangal i also take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to all the deans advisors faculty the registrar and other participants 169 right now and uh, the coordinator told me that there are more than 175 participants who have registered uh, which itself is a large number because the city wanted uh, you know 100 and we have exceeded much uh, beyond that uh, in fact most of you are aware that the all india council for technical education its newly established days training and uh, learning academy has started unique faculty development program in various first areas of modern technology in fact, uh, 200 such programs have already been conducted in various government institutions, benefiting around 10,000 faculties, research scholars, and PG students during the year 1920. In the success of this initiative, ASCT Training and Academy have announced to organize nearly 500 uh, such uh, FDPs uh, in the year 20 and 21. So, in the first phase, they have actually sanctioned about 83 FDPs. And I'm happy to inform you that NIT Varangal has uh, got eight, which is the largest in the South India. And among the NIT Varangal, uh, Dr. Raju Bukia has got five. It's a great achievement. I congratulate him. Uh, I really appreciate his efforts and uh, appreciate all the participants. And I hope that uh, based on your experience, you will tell other people to get benefit. Uh, we all agree that we are passing through the most difficult times. So the present need is to adopt uh, innovative measures as for the exigencies, the regular mode of teaching and learning has come to a standstill. However, it is like an opportunity for us or a blessing in disguise. So today we are all attending to online, sitting at the comfort of our homes. So these are extraordinary times and require extraordinary efforts by one and all. I want uh, all of you after this course to become mentors of uh, uh, other faculty in your uh, institute so that you can spread the message, uh, share your knowledge, and also enhance the importance of IoT in your day-to-day -day usage. Let us uh, not even for a second forget that we are so immensely best sitting in the comfort of our homes with family. I see the same family members coming and talking uh, now and then to the participants. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, in this chaos, uh, this is an opportunity for uh, all of us to actually uh, focus on what is important and. Uh, it is an opportunity for us to learn and grow right from the safety of our homes. Uh, one uh, important which we country and that also as India, uh, our mission is to empower as uh, many students as possible towards futuristic technologies like uh, blockchain, artificial intelligence, data science, cloud computing, cyber security, and Internet of uh, Things to technology. And uh, we have uh, now to take the students to a journey, we as faculty uh, should educate them, transform them, and enable them to apply this technology for the service of 
humanity and society. So I don't know much time. I really thank uh, the adjunct professor and other speakers who have actually taken time from their busy schedule to participate in this uh, online uh, uh, MDP on the Internet of Things. I again uh, extend a very warm welcome to all of you. Thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much. This is our another meeting. Thank you very much. Dr. Raju, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable speech. Uh, now, I request uh, uh, Professor Shivakumar Matipati to uh, start the session. Mm -hmm. Hello?
Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Sir, you can start the session. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. You can start the session. Okay. I'm okay, sharing sir. my screen. Thank you. I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, right. All right, so Dr. Raju, please tell me if you are, if I'm, if you're able to share my see my screen here, right? You are able to see my screen? Ah, okay, sir, okay. Are you able to see my screen? Yeah, we are able no. to see. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, thank sure. you. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, 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 good. Thank you. All right, so I'm just trying to put it to the full screen. Uh, let's see here. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, sorry, there are some technical difficulties. Uh, I will, uh, so this is the schedule uh, for today. Uh, introduction to IoT and use cases, uh, how to build IoT systems, IoT hardware, platforms, and sensors. I'm going to show a real life view here and IoT cloud platforms and demonstrations. IoT use cases and demonstrations, and uh, tomorrow we come back and do the protocols and standards. And then I'm going to share uh, some of the uh, use cases uh, from this uh, NIST, which is called National Institute of Standards and Technologies, the USA, and uh, programming IoT hardware and sensors. You know? And then uh, we'll have this uh, demonstrations. You know, we'll have uh, some instruction exposure. Okay. So all right. So uh, now. I don't know why my screen is here. All right, so uh, what we'll do is that introductions to IoT. Uh, let's talk about the introductions to IoT and use cases. Uh, you know, what are the, uh, you know, use cases you can see it on that, okay? All right. So uh, let's talk about the Internet of Things. You know, I always take this uh, definitions. You know, when you talk about the IoT, there are uh, so many definitions comes to our mind, right? Uh, you know, there are. I have researched it. At least there are about 11 to 13 different IoT definitions. You know, so uh, when I looked into my uh, research, and then I came out with some IEEE definitions. You know, what exactly is defined, defined as an IoT here? So. Uh, So as for IoT, it's basically, you know, it is a connection of all the uh, network of sensors, smart objects, uh, 
whose purpose is to uh, interconnect all things including everyday and industrial objects in such a way as to make them intelligent programmable and more capable of interacting with humans you know so basically this defines if you want to more details you can go to this icrcle site you get uh, the uh, definitions of the iot and that's a proper way of uh, defining the internet of thing you know where it has got the uh, networks of sensors it covers the objects it covers the human being it covers the every day what we have been interacting with them and that's a proper way of defining your iot and that so what is that actually it's nothing but uh, you know uh, it is any time connections so any place and anything connections you know so that's nothing but uh, any time anywhere you connect as long as you connect a device to an internet that's an iot device right it has to have an iot and each devices will have you know some kind of an ip address where you know you connect it to the uh, to the ip and then we uh, display it uh, you know uh, that uh, connection no? it could be an actuator or it could be a uh, sensor or it could be everything so any place connections any time and uh, anything connections there no? so what are the some user selling point of iot we need to identify i just give you some background i'm sure you, most of you know that on top and then, then we build this introduction and then we move on to the uh, you know the, the real hardware you know, how you can look and feel and we get some kind of an account there identify then predict and analyze that right? you have to identify a device what is that you know it could be a uh, temperature sensor the uh, humidity sensor ph sensor anything you know you identify it, you know as you know Uh, I think I'm sure the, the audience. So there are uh, few are from uh, electrical and electronics backgrounds. Few are from computer engineering. Few are from instrumentation. A few are from non-computer science. As you know, that sensors. You know, we have uh, three different kind of sensors, right? One is the analog. Another one is the digital, and the third one is the hybrid, right? It's both of an analog and digital. You know, uh, you take a temperature sensor, a simple measuring the temperature of uh, the room or temperature of the one university campus. you know that is the you know monitor and then given it uh, to the microcontroller and microcontroller will do that so predict is that uh, actually this what the microcontroller will do and analyze is the cloud right identify is your sensor predict is your you know whatever the microcontroller you do that and then analyze is the cloud you know so it's a combination of a sensor microcontroller or the processor connectivity and then the uh, cloud now we talked about the temperature sensor right one of the applications which i am doing uh, currently research uh, with the uh, two phd students uh, in uh, in one of the university is that uh, how we can uh, you know uh, implement or integrate the um, the uh, temperature monitoring for an university right if anyone is walking in the university under this covid 19 uh, outbreak so now can we have some system of course we have to have a consent of all the students and all the faculty and all the researchers that it's okay to take their monitoring you know so we normally take the temperature and then it uh, actually goes to the cloud and then it goes to health system of university or uh, local county or a local district uh, health county department and then it tells them that okay this is the person with this temperature he is entering into the university you now we need to do something or we need to support him you know then you know it goes to some kind of an uh, uh, you know ai tool or artificial intelligence and then automatically tells them that okay now uh, in this area this map it happened for example santa clara okay this person has happened now so many patients happened in this area now what is the percentage of uh, you know inclinations for him to test him for a covid 19 no? so that's actually iot is a great example right so we we'll, we will put that uh, uh, identify then predict and then we analyze it right so identify is nothing but a temperature predict is that uh, based on the map surrounding that map okay what is the percentage going in that area you take that and then predict it right what is it whether it is really immune he has to send for a test result he has to send to the hospital to the test so then he or she can be sent to the test or no it's a normal temperature normal flu he doesn't have to do that then you just send it to the classes or send to the analyze it no? so that's uh, one kind of an iot how we can hold it okay now uh, just a little bit background about the iot uh, you know how it started you know uh, 
I think many of the uh, my colleague uh, professors uh, were there. You no, know? I mean they at least they studied. You know, uh, internet emerges. You know, 69. You know, uh, uh, actually just an internet which is uh, derived from the DARPA here in US. Uh, it actually used to be only the military, and then uh, later on in 82. Uh, it migrated to TCP uh, IP uh, actually in um, it takes a shape you know the name came at 82 TCP IP you know transport <coughs> communication protocol and internet protocol came in 82 and uh, the history says the first IOT which was to a bread the toaster you know uh, somebody in Stanford University uh, they put a toaster and then the toaster uh, you know uh, basically they put the toaster those days it used to be Ethernet, right? There's no Wi Fi, there's no Bluetooth, there's no Zigbee. So they used to have a toaster through Ethernet. So when the toaster is done, uh, they used to send a message to their desktop or through Ethernet connections, uh, just PCP IP that, okay, toaster is done, now you can go and serve yourself. You know? Means people can put the toaster, they can go to a Xerox machine to make the copies or, you know, type something else. Those time word processing was very popular, they can go and do the word processing work, come back, and they, and they get a some kind of a text message and a DOS prompt, you know, very simple DOS prompt. Then they come back and, you know, look into the rest, toaster is ready, you know. So that's for 82. 99, uh, uh, actually, Kevin Thorsten from, uh, inter uh, from MIT, he named it as an Internet of Things, you know, because he has uh, coined it as an auto ID and then he named that as after that, uh, you know, Internet of Things name came. And then 2005 it really got attention to the global. Everybody thought, oh, this is a great opportunity. Let's focus on this uh, particular, you know, stuff on that. And then, uh, you know, also it so came with the Internet Protocol of Smart Objects. I'm going to talk about uh, introducing this the next few days. What is the smart object? What, what exactly is that? We'll do that. And then 2011, IPv6 came in, right? The IPv4 was there till uh, you know 2008 or 9. Suddenly we realized that uh, no other devices, number of devices, what we are addressing, you know, it's going to be uh, you know less. So now we need to have more number of bits uh, so that it can address. You know, now remember, you know, each uh, IP address need to have uh, some address bits, right? If you have just have a two bits, uh, it is a two to the power of uh, two, right? You can make only four kind of an, uh, combinations. If you have two to the four of six, then we have nine combinations. So like that, when you have a, they used to have a 32 bit, but IP6 has uh, emerged into 128 bits. So you can address two to the power of 128 uh, uh, devices, you know? So that's how the, the now there's a IPv6 uh, extension is coming up basically you know, it's uh, 128 bits on both directions, right? One is on the positive directions, another one is in the which is a floating point, right? So we have, we have the research is going on, hopefully we'll have that next one. And 2013, uh, we have a uh, Google Drive the glasses, and then um, then we had uh, some human robot is coming up, and then uh, Amazon Alexa came, then Google Assistant came, so a lot of things uh, got added to the whole, uh, this one. So now IoT has become very, very uh, you know, powerful machine. One thing I would like to share, uh, I'm based in Silicon Valley, you know, because of this uh, COVID-19 pandemic outbreak uh, for last uh, two to three, two, two to two and a half months. So there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, restructuring or the job loss is there because of this one, because most of the restaurant are closed, airlines are closed, so then you are, uh, all the travel business has been cut down. So people are not moving out of it. No uh, gas or petrol, you know, they're not, no more ever, right? I mean, I have been working, I had to go and check my car whether it's really okay or not okay, you know, because, uh, you know, battery may go dry, right? I go and once in a week, I need to go and check my car because I not used it at all. Everybody working from home. So in this uh, uh, situations, uh, unfortunate situations, uh, I see that uh, IT business, IT job and the faculties, uh, all the universities, they're super busy, you know, they're really, really working out how we can be an innovative, uh, you know, we can do that. Like, uh, you know, uh, Professor uh, Ramana Roy mentioned that, uh, you know, uh, we have to be very uh, you know, innovative, how we can go on to the photo of the phone, you know. So that's a very uh, good, uh, you know, uh, thought process and the keynote from him that how we can. So 
that's what is happening in this uh, you know uh, situation now uh, so it is iot is still very strong iot teaching is very strong uh, like i have been asked to set up in uh, virtual lab that's why i set it up in virtual lab i'm going to show in a bit i don't want to bore only in the theory because i am come from a hands on from an industry i want to make mix and match of uh, theory and uh, uh, lab over here you know? so in short yes iot is there uh, whatever it comes uh, more the more uh, this thing i mean somebody say that blessing in the dispensary yes that's right you know how it can serve the community uh, you know to increase uh, the you know market share and the business there so that you know all of us can be benefited uh, from this whole uh, connected devices there medical things lot of medical uh, aspect is happening up uh, i'll probably i'll share one or two examples how this iot is helping the uh, you know under this uh, pandemic outbreak so this is that the integration uh, iot integration time uh, so we had uh, you know just you know showing that how the timeline gets so you have the uh, somebody uh, you know made it very uh, re realistically the plan 90s uh, you have the european they came then uh, trucking industry came and 2002 2000 uh, on 10 onwards we have a cell tower and then that cell tower uh, uses the home alarms utility meters watches wireless so that's what you know they say it's uh, 25 billion or 50 billion whatever uh, you know the projection you say yes it is going to happen you know it is going to be there now yeah so if you really look into that you know iot how it is disturbed you know if you really see now of course the uh, curve is changed or it is uh, you know um, uh, it's really uh, flattening up but if you really see uh, just before this uh, uh, you know pandemic you know you see that uh, largest taxi companies uh, owns no taxes right i mean if you really see the uber if you see anything you know and no they don't own any taxes off late they might be offering some kind of a loan systems or buying the car but they don't own the taxes largest accommodations like uh, no uh, real estate right for example uh, let me just uh, it allows me there okay so um okay so if you see the you know um yeah if you see the uh, airbnb you know they don't own any real estate right now they are probably acquiring something largest phone company skype uh, or android they don't uh, really own any telco industries right they, everything is done by the infrastructure movie house like netflix uh, they don't own any cinema right they just host the content there software vendors don't write the app now they must be writing some special application but if you really go back to the history majority 90% it is written by the developer android developer or an apple developer <clears throat> then world's most valuable retail has no inventory alibaba or aws you know if you really see there's no inventory and most modern owner creates no content facebook doesn't now they are creating some content but if you really majority they don't create the content created by user like you and me or you know some developer right so basically uh, you know the idea here is everything is managed by the infrastructure everything is managed by the internet the one so you don't really need you know army of people to do uh, this one but we need people to really write the software to teach them to how we can really get onto the you know um, real uh, thing world you know so that's how the uh, the iot is disturbing various market there so this is just a gartner cycle i mean i just you know i always show this i think few of you have met or attended my gan program or a yen ict program i normally show this actually what the gat program is that so actually it is a uh, 2016 it was like this and slowly i am a follower of that you know slowly iot is coming uh, somewhere on the you know innovation uh, on the back seat but uh, the artificial intelligence i'm sorry if the you know slide is clear there the idea of showing here is that now iot is given everybody says that iot is already there on top of it what we can do you know that's machine learning artificial intelligence you know how we can do that uh, those aspect right 
so that's coming up you know very heavily and to that that's why uh, my university also asked to focus heavily on artificial intelligence uh, uh, the sem- uh, subject we are introducing a foundation of artificial intelligence next semester so i'm pre- preparing for that and so iot is given and uh, they say okay uh, create uh, the syllabus uh, for those aspects that this is the current trend as you can see as you can see here the 5g is becoming very very uh, uh, popular one is on the peak of that the 5g uh, is happening that's why many 5g companies are doing very well here and uh, you know uh, they te- they definitely go on to the you know uh, several development process that for example palcom in san diego you know where i uh, you know interact with some of the folks there they really really focusing heavily on this uh, 5g this is the iot devices i just uh, give that uh, you know um, uh, what the number of humans and number of devices like earlier uh, you know professor talk about that right uh, what are the number of devices we are talking about that so the number of devices it's going to be definitely 50 billion it used to be there the curve was going up but uh, for last 2 to 3 months it's uh, you know came down the connected devices like for example uh, the cisco you know they monitor mm-hmm. that how many number of devices are connected, connected to that uh, is there any question there or okay audio is not clear is my audio is clear yes audio is clear yeah we are very okay, clear thank you. thank you so much okay so uh so uh, sorry about that uh, so this is the you know uh, 5g and then we have we talked about now other thing is happening is that see number of devices you know this uh, estimated uh, 50 billion devices i think earlier uh, you know delegates also speak about that uh, you know the device yes it's going to happen and uh, then on the right side i shown uh, uh, one graph here you know which is uh, basically a uh, fixed computing you know uh, many of my uh, you know, colleagues over uh, uh, this one they appreciate the 95 we had a fixed computing right we had a hard disk uh, then your pc it could be an x86 so 186 286 or 386 or a pentium uh, up to 4 386 we had a fixed computing right we had a fixed hard disk and then came the bring your own device uh, from 2000 onwards you know you bring the devices to the industry and then uh, after that uh, we have this uh, internet of thing and then uh, internet of everything right uh, so cisco term is internet of everything so this is the kind of an revenue uh, they are calling to 24 billion but now uh, like i said it's it's dipped a little bit this is just a, a marketing uh, data i don't want to spend more time on that then uh, what makes the internet of thing we have a we are going to have the connected devices uh, smart objects it could be a smart city or it could be you know smart industry smart university smart campus and then uh, intelligence of ai and machine learning is going to come machine to machine uh, for example you have a phone you have a wearables watch uh, then you have health medical equipment everything is getting connected to a central computers uh, so that you know uh, people will get what uh, uh, you know uh, they can do the research on that aspect you know. so this is the high level architecture of a machine to machine uh, basically you have a sensor machine thing then it goes to the connectivity then you have base station core network so we will go through a detailed lab you know uh, in the next uh, two days so another thing you know phone has become a very very important iot device you know because you might have noticed it you know there were so many sensors so many activities So in my iot in one of the mobile course i teach at uh, northeastern uh, university 
in fact i just added the iot also as part of them though it is a mobile app development course but i have added the, the uh, you know uh, iot to that aspect you know as you see that uh, phone has uh, so many sensors into that we have uh, i just named it a few uh, light proximity microphones uh, camera and gyroscope accelerometer barometer and uh, humidity you know so and positioning nfc pressure sensor temperature so you these are the a common sensor you uh, see it on a phone that phones are connected uh, to the uh, cloud through this networking i come back on the networking you know what kind of networking you can connect a device to the cloud it could be you know your uh, uh, wifi it could be your uh, gigbi or it could be a bluetooth or simple ethernet connections you know uh, now the new new development has been taking place that is a low range lora and uh, sigfox which is basically like your cable tv right you don't have to go to the main uh, uh, carrier or courier no so we can always have a, some kind of a local connections with the low range uh, is coming up popularly we did some projects uh, my colleague uh, at bangalore they will be able to share some uh, you know uh, research on that you know so this is sensor in your car you know the, sir, several sensors are coming in car you know now they call they call it as a car as a iot device right so there are so many sensor everything is getting connected and during the, our research what we found is uh, all the automobile industry you know they have their own uh, connectivity standards you know uh, they don't go on this uh, you know uh, normal or conventional connections you know they have their own uh, connections to that you know so um, uh, you know yeah, as you can see that uh, you know they have uh, several sensors on that night vision then front object front airbag ascd then uh, Uh, front object then you have got the active park assist so i'm going to share this you will see that if anyone wants to do any project uh, that each sensor connected to a microcontroller uh, through uh, the connectivity what are choosing and the cloud is become an iot project yeah some reason i'm losing the control i don't know why because of me here i don't know mm-hmm. i don't know i'm not able to control the slides you know here one second maybe my system is getting connected here so sorry my system is getting connected here i don't know what happened uh okay all right so it's still coming up here no what is happening there here i don't know it's actually uh, it's a connection problem i don't know um uh, is it number of uh, users no it's 166 users should be a good one uh i don't know my system is going into hyper mode here i don't know uh Dr. Raju and team, any any idea where I get stuck here? Do you want to reset here? I don't know. Yeah, it's oh no, it's not coming. I don't know. It's going in the loop. Yeah, Dr. Raju. So uh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, sir. Please check out your taskbar to me. Okay, task, uh, task manager. A task manager. Open this circuit. 
yeah i will uh, try that just see here. not allow me to go out at all you know? go to task manager and uh, try to remove that which is running background so yeah uh, i am using a mac here maybe i should go to the applications because there is no it's not allow me to the go to the task manager i don't know I think you can uh, try with escape and uh, yeah i tried with the uh, escape it's not allowing me even control uh, come out also is not working last, i don't know what happened last option sir. last option please restart sir that's it yeah i'm sorry restart yeah, your uh, listen yeah. yeah i have to do that but i had to reset sir. sorry uh, i'm back or do control alt delete sir Yeah, I did that. It's not uh, happening. The control, control command. Oh, go to restart, sir. That's it. Restart. Restart, sir. ప్రాసెసర్ లేదా మీన్ వెల్ యు కెన్ ఆస్క్ వన్ ఆర్ టు పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ టు ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ దెమ్ సెల్ఫ్ సర్ మేబీ యు కెన్ గివ్ సమ్ ఐడియాస్ ఆన్ దట్ వాట్ వి ఆర్ డూయింగ్ ఇన్ ది డిపార్ట్మెంట్ అండ్ ఎవరీ Uh, instead of uh, any introdu- introducing of themselves uh, if any have any queries they can ask right means uh, of course it's a known technology which we call internet of iot so yeah, yeah. Yeah, the upcoming they can ask queries yeah, yeah, they can any, ask any doubts if they have they can ask so first i'm giving others to uh, raise any questions if they have then i'll, I'll ask some of my queries what i have hello hello any participant uh, please uh if you have any queries regarding connection or anything uh, please ask yeah i think sir
saturation in the radium. points to one circle called distribution system so which everybody is following you hello audible ostunda ostunda there is a small system problem uh, we are rectifying that please be seated uh, don't go anywhere don't log out uh, we are uh, counting your attendance each and every session each and every hour based upon that only you will be getting the certificates all the participants please note that you need to attend each and every session then only you will be getting the certificates thank you yeah uh, no one have a doubt so uh, i'm having some doubt just uh, want to know uh can you hear me sir hello can you hear me are you there hello 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 ah suresh it is audible uh, raju sir hello ah suresh it is audible you can talk hello hello suresh sir you can talk now yeah uh, yeah yeah okay. uh, the doubt what actually uh, how the raspberry and uh, arduino going to be on the Yeah, 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 sir. Uh, have a small doubt, not bigger one. See, uh, just I want to know how uh, the Raspberry Pi and uh, 
uh, Arduino boards are authenticated, authorized because in the market we are getting uh, different different uh, that boards, right? So, are any anybody is there who are going to genuinely authorize and release that kind of uh, the device? Yeah, if you talk about Raspberry Pi board, uh, I'll uh, repeat Raspberry my uh, my doubt. What I have. Raspberry Pi, Arduino boards, whatever, like whatever device we are getting the components are authenticated by whom? Means uh, uh, authorized by any uh, any yeah, Raspberry Pi boards, Raspberry Pi body Pi's. or any. Uh, the question is mainly on the standards and uh, protocols. I see uh, any of the uh, IoT devices. As, as per the, uh, our internet base, the devices what we are getting, we are going to get some. Yeah, so like yes, sir, IEEE you... kind of uh, or ACM kind of. Um, uh, standard sir, uh, ISO standard wise, they are going to release all the devices, right? Any for Raspberry Pi board already, we have uh, what to call it as Raspberry Pi trading is there. So those particular people are uh, responsible for uh, authenticating those particular boards. Okay. The voice is not audible, sir. Hello, what's up? Ah, sir, it is audible, sir. Voice is audible. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Today, sir, I think uh, disturbance is from your side. Actually, I can hear voice clearly. Yeah, I got your answer, sir. I got your reply. Yeah. Okay. Now I think uh, uh, Shiva sir is also carry online. On. Yeah, you can carry on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so on. Shiva sir is online now. I am handing the session to Shiva sir actually. Okay. Okay. Yes. Carry okay. on. Sure. Sure. Thank you. Uh, Shiva sir, now you can carry on with your session, sir. I have made you as a presentee. And uh, from your side, your voice is uh, getting disturbed. Uh, Shiva, sir, I'm not able to hear your voice. Hello. Ah, yes, sir. Shiva, Shiva sir, voice is not audible. Uh. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it is yes, audible. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. You can. Now you can hear me. Carry right? on. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can carry on, sir. Okay. Can you hear me, please? Yes, yes.
Yes, can you hear me, sir? Now, ah, uh, Shiva sir is. Yes, okay. For some reason, I'm not able to hear from the PC, but I'll continue from the phone, you know, because I don't want to keep the audience holding there. Is no it okay? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Fine, okay, fine. Sir. Okay, done. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. So this is how uh, we are at. Uh, last time we talked about the. Uh, some eco is coming up i don't know from where to so uh, but please do stop me if i'm not able to audio there sure so sir. yes we have a, a in industrial internet of thing we are going to talk about that and then uh, uh, we have uh, one second here i don't know some reason my pc is not supporting me today here Okay, so uh, okay, sorry. So uh, we have an industrial internet of thing and a consumer internet of thing. So uh, so then we have uh, you know all the devices on the other side, and then you have a network connectivity. Other side uh, we have a cloud, right? So we have three, four components. What we are going to talk about it, and this is the very broader prospect of uh, 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 IoT market. What you have been seeing that, so you can see those, uh, you know, uh, different one. But we are, for the interest of time, we are going to talk about only two or three areas. So we will show how really it connects uh, uh, to the to the IoT cloud. Uh, this is the Internet of Things domains we have. I think there was a questions in between. Now, before uh, you know, um, uh, you know, without wasting my time onto different applications, let me jump onto. I may be able to contribute. I think there was a questions on Raspberry Pi and the Arduino board. Uh, I was uh, hearing just when I went to the this one. So, and then this is the connecting devices to the human uh, values, uh, like we said in the first uh, slide, right? What different kind of devices we have? What are the different connectivity? What are the aspects we have on that? Now, just to be specific to the IoT in India, we just got uh, you know one slide. Like earlier, uh, there was a you know there was a there was some kind of an uh, specific uh, questions. So I'm just trying to you know put one slide, share the slide for Indian market here, and then we have uh, okay now. At this point of time, what I would like to do is that I would like to open up, uh, keep it paused. If any questions are there, this is a, about the overview of internet. Let's go on to the how we can build a system. You know, I have a few minutes to, to have a Q&A. If you have any questions, we can open up the questions. And then, uh, you know, uh, if you can open a question on the audio, that's fine. Otherwise, I'll open up the chat window. I'll open up. I'll read out the question for everyone. Or any moderator can ask the questions, you know, in that. So let me go to the slide here, and then before we move on to the lab or the session two session there now. Yeah. All right. So any questions from the? So participants, uh, sir, participants uh, can ask you can what you please, uh, Can you please elaborate on the programming aspects of IoT devices? What all languages and what all things we should learn? Yeah, very good question. So, uh, uh,
హలో సార్ shiva sir again your voice is not audible uh shiva sir problem with audio is the audio clear now now it is clear sir okay okay so now it's clear right ah yes sir okay so yeah uh, going back to the question on raspberry pi what my what i'm saying is that can you see my screen also there yes 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 uh, okay so i think there was a question here right we are whether we are going to show in uh, arduino board or the uh, raspberry pi board so what i'm we're going to do it in the next one or two days we have a development platform here i'm going to show that uh, you know how we can have this uh, connect all this uh, sensor to this board and from this board how we can communicate it to the cloud you know as you can see that is a complete integrated development board so you can uh, see the some sensors are there temperature humidity proximity then uh, you have a light sensor a motor control so those sensors will be connected to this and will show the demo on that you know okay raspberry pi and other we also have the arduino board i remove the arduino board so i'll show that uh, how you can connect those sensors to that one yeah. any other question your yeah, protocol there is a protocol so what are the protocols cloud so protocol we use normally which is called the mqtt based on the http protocol there is one session is there we talk about the protocols and uh, you will see that what how we can uh, connect it and then visualize the data in the cloud yeah i don't know i am getting some echo uh, whether you guys are getting echo send picture of whatsapp your okay all right okay ananda how does cloud it works and how about india in supporting yeah supporting iot we have a team in india so we will uh, support uh, you know in uh, iot at least from uh, academic uh, perspective but uh, when it comes to the research then you have to uh, depend upon the you know, whatever research paper you have that you know for example you work with dr rajiv some projects so we are supposed to work out during the march but that did not happen so uh, we have to discuss and uh, come out with your own plan yeah so any other question and real time up yes we are try we'll we'll definitely solve the real time application also and then uh, we will uh, show some what were more importantly i i want to show some of the covid 19 uh, applications you know how we can help uh, 
during this same uh, situations, right? Yeah. So, so good morning. Okay. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, how to connect uh, data delivery, sir? Data delivery from where to where? Uh, protocol to device with uh, action of device. Sorry, say again. Uh, data delivery from between uh, protocol to real, real device like uh, motor. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, so uh, so... yeah, yeah. So what you do is that you connect uh, to the board. See, from board to the devices, always is hardware. It's a, it's a, it's a line actually. We connect a wire. There is no other way you can uh, uh, connect it uh, through wirelessly. There are some devices are there, but most of the devices you connect through a wire. You know, for example, we have. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So, okay, all right, with this, I think I need to set up my audio and uh, video, this thing. So, Raju, do you want to have a continue or a, a, a take a break and come back? In the break, I want to set it up for the audio and video problem here. You can continue another half an hour and we will have a break and uh, we okay. can have the second session. Okay. Okay, I can continue. But my audio is clear. continue for another half an hour. Half an hour. Okay, sure. So my audio is clear, right? right? Yeah. Okay. yeah, you're right, right. Okay, good. So then we will go here. Okay, let's see how to build your IoT system now. Right now we have learned the IoT fundamentals. Then we learned about the uh, what are the different market structure, and we also learned about the uh, different uh, very briefly protocols. We'll come to the protocols, but let's see on the how you can build a system. Actually, normally we talk the uh, I don't know if somebody can help me. There's some audio. The site tone is coming up. You know. I have actually, first of all, I'm just disconnecting my phone. I am just saying the computer audio, but I'm not able to get anything audio. Enough. I don't know whether. Uh... It is audible, sir. No problem. You can continue. Okay. Yeah, you can continue. I can continue it here. Okay. Yeah. Can you, can you, can you, can, okay. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect this my phone. Okay. Okay. So yeah, now uh, we talk about the um, how to build a system. Okay. So okay, video only display. Okay, I'm just trying it out here. Screen sharing audio here. Uh, so you see here, I'm not able to. Yeah, can you talk now? Let's see. Can somebody say some test uh, sound? Yes, sir, it is audible. It is audible, sir. You can talk. It is audible, sir. No. It's clear from your side. I'm audible, right? I mean, yeah, as long as you hear, that's fine right, with me. Right, I mean, later we yes. can take a question and answer. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
All right. So I'm just putting my comp uh, my existing audio also on here. All right, so let's go on to the how to build a systems here. So we have uh, uh, the. OK, now proof of concept. I think some of you already started talking about the proof of concept. So we have the proof of concept and then write the block diagram. It could be anything you know, you can draw the temp. You can say you have the temperature sensor to be uh, to be connected so you can connect it there and then uh, microcontroller and then you get the connectivity and then the cloud right so schematic you may not require schematic at this point of time so um, and then the bill of material right you have to come you have to control that what are the bill of material you need it for that you know right so uh, So this is the diagram I'm showing it here. Assembling sensor and electronics, writing a device driver. Somebody asked, you know, uh, whether we can use uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi. Yes, you can use the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino board. And uh, writing uh, APIs for cloud infrastructure and then the client integration such as desktop, tablet. Once you have it in the cloud, you can derive it for anything, right? You can uh, make it for uh, mobile phone, desktop, or the uh, the watch, the handled watch. And then, of course, we have the field testing. Uh, three to six months of a field testing, you have to do it. And a beta version, uh, I would say that you have to do it in the beta version and then the production and release and the documentations, right? Yeah. Okay, now let me show, this is all about the project, right? Let me show one demo, how you can connect your uh, IoT, a temperature sensor, you know, how we can connect it there. So hopefully my demo will be good because I'm experiencing a really, really serious problem in this uh, meeting, but hopefully it will be there. Then. So let me go on to my screen here. Go to meeting here. Uh, then we have uh, the computer audio or the phone connection. Then I will just say that, okay. Uh, what I'll do is that I will just stop showing screen, but I will uh, come back again in just one second. No? So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to uh, share my, the. this is a small, uh, the Arduino footprint. Many of you know that. I'm hoping that you can be able to see my screen there, right? I'm going to run through some demo here. Uh, Dr. Raju and team, can you able to see my screen there? I don't know. I'm not able to really. I'm having difficulty. We can see you. We can yes, see sir. you. We can see that? We can, we can see, sir. Okay, good. So this is an Arduino uh, board, okay, uh, which has got the Wi-Fi, you know. See, any IoT need to have three components, right? Sensor, IoT, uh, connectivity, and then the cloud, right? So this board uh, particularly Wi-Fi 1010, which has got the Wi-Fi. And then we have the uh, temperature sensor. Okay, this is the temperature sensor. You can see that, right? And then uh, we have uh, in another one which is a light sensor. Okay. Now let's see how we can uh, connect uh, to the Arduino board, right? This is an Arduino ARM processor. Most of you know that ARM how it works in the ARM processor. Now I want to connect this temperature sensor to the cloud. Okay. So now this is a very simple temperature sensor. I'm connected here to some GPIO here and I will open up my Arduino uh, platform sketch. Many of you know that I'll open up that sketch platform 
and see how this temperature sensors programmed to communicate to the microcontroller and from microcontroller we can send the data to the uh, cloud you know let me open up my uh, screen again here so we can okay so i'm first of all i'm sending it through usb here there's an usb connector here i'm sending it through usb here okay i have connected to the usb now what i will do is i will uh, uh, share my screen again and open up my arduino platform here so I'm sharing my screen now. You're able to see my screen there now, right? Okay. I'm sharing my screen now. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. It's okay. audible. So this is our my Arduino environment. Most of you know that Arduino, you need an IDE, right? You it doesn't work by itself, you know. Whereas Raspberry Pi, it has got its own uh, operating system. You can download your ID into Raspberry, Raspberry, right? Whereas this computer doesn't, this microcontroller doesn't have any operating system. It is a real-time operating system. You need to download your ID onto PC, and from PC you can connect it. So now that is how you know uh, me and my our team Bangalore, we are working at how remotely you can access it to remotely, and then you can still continue to do the lab. So in the normal circumstances, we use this board, but this is a Wi-Fi thing now let me open up the temperature sensor reading here okay so i'll go to the my file here and then recently i checked it so let's see here client uh, repeating there is one program we have written it for the sensor okay you go here as you know that uh, you know this is the uh, program which is basically a wi-fi based program right so i have written my wi-fi credentials here my home wi-fi here uh, then uh, then i have put the you know the uh, cloud you know i connected to the cloud cloud called uh, things speak most of you know about the things speak which is from the matlab so i have connected that this is the credentials of the things speak i have to write, write key you know because i want to write this data to the cloud right so i'm just writing this one to the cloud but i need to have an integer that is how it is secured right this particular uh, one whatever i have is connected to the um, uh, the cloud. We will open up that cloud also, and then we are initializing this. It's a simple, uh, you know, uh, your C programming, right? Initial serial and wait for the port to open, and then uh, while it is in a serial port, and then serial port to connect needed for native USB port only. So you know, this is kind of a flow of the program we are written here, and also we are asking it to display my result onto the you know monitor right and my real monitor um, which is connected to this one so two things we need to do you know whenever you download the arduino platform is that you go to the uh, tools and make sure that you are connected to the wi-fi 101 uh, connector here right so let me see here tools and then uh, yeah this is the board actually we need to because there are so many boards are there in arduino right so I, this board i'm using is the mkr wi-fi 1010 here and then the port also you need to make sure that because i'm mine is a mac i have only two ports if you really go to the newer windows machine there are multiple some people use the linux machine right so you can download a linux you can download it in mac or you can download it in the windows machine so i have only two ports then i'm selecting uh, this uh, arduino mkr wi-fi 1010 here right so i'm selecting this and what I'll do is that I'll just say run the program here. Okay. So I'm running the program. As you can see, that is compiling. This has got a compiler. It, it compiles the program. And you can see the is compiling it here. And then verify successful in the bottom. I don't know if you see that uh, 
verify successful done in 0 0.035 seconds no? now i will go to the tools and i want to see it in the monitor reading how is behaving it right so i'll go to the monitor you see it's connecting to my wi-fi now ssid num it is getting captured ssid so um let's see here so it's connecting it it, it takes some time so now it's connected and you got the current temperature here right you got a current temperature reading of 25.31 here right right there's a temperature here currently what i'm undergoing at 25.31 i'm actually sitting outside uh, my home this is a home office so it's a little bit more you know there is no uh, fan or ac i put it here now let me see what i'll do is i will put my uh, you know thumb uh, onto the temperature sensor and see whether it increases the temperature right just note down this 25.31 I will do one thing. I will just put my finger here. I'm just putting, I'm not increasing anything here, as you can see here. I'm just putting my uh, thumb finger here. So then you see the temperature is going up 31.15. You notice it here, right? See, this is 31.15 is coming up. Okay. This is how now what is happening? This is a sensor. It's going through a digital port and then it's going to the one port here, each program, and from there it's going to the networking with my Wi Fi. From my Wi Fi, let's see how it connects to the cloud. Let me go to the my own cloud. Okay, so I have got the ThingSpeak account. I'll go to my cloud here, ThingSpeak account, right? I go to my ThingSpeak account here and then already I logged in here. Okay. So, I mean, I can do one thing. I can just log out and one more time show you that. You sign out. I mean, everybody, everybody, by end of second day, I would encourage you to create a ThingSpeak account. Then you can, if you have any Raspberry Pi board um, accessible at your home. I don't recommend to go out of the office uh, because of the social distance uh, challenge. But if you are bored, you can experiment that. So then I will go into this one. And then we have the, my user line. I'll just do my school user ID here. So you can do this. See, I didn't run project. This is for the United Nations Sustainability Life Below the Water. We did it. So I'm just showing that only. So here you see the temperature is going up now. You see here, I see the time stamping here. Temperature 28.0. Here uh, US timing. You know, my computer is as for US timing. Sunday, May 10th, 11:19. Uh, you know, my computer timing showing 11:19. Probably in India it is close to, uh, I think 11:50 or so, right? So this is how. Now let me see. Let me put again a finger and see whether it goes up here, right? Let's see here. I'm just again putting my thumb finger here on the temperature sensor. Okay, let's see it should go up in 30 seconds. I mean, we programmed it for 15 or 20 seconds and let's see it goes up. I'm just holding it as we speak. So let's see if temperature sensor goes up here. Yeah, you see go up, right? See it's a 30.6 here. My temperature, body temperature is measuring and going up here, okay? So similarly, I have an another one which I can show it in the later part of the uh, this one. But any questions at this point? This is a demo. Uh, you know, we have a temperature sensor connected to a Wi-Fi board, and uh, then through Wi-Fi through my home routing Wi-Fi, going to the ThingSpeak, and ThingSpeak uh, is showing you the result. You know, that's the IoT, right? I mean, you anybody can develop a temperature sensor uh, uh, reading. Uh, uh, you know. To your uh, say for example you want to monitor the your departmental uh, temperature or you want to monitor the home these things you can monitor those aspects right and things speak is a very uh, you know um, very easy tool i would suggest end of the two days or three days you please create an account then you'll be able to you know uh, see those uh, uh, at least development going on that you know if you have board you're more than welcome to do that so in this in this board we have uh, 
you know, I will show that also. We have a temperature, uh, humidity, proximity, and gas. We'll connect all these sensors to this. Uh, but this Arduino board is a Uno board, you know. You may be knowing that Uno board doesn't have a Wi-Fi. Now then we have to connect it with the ESP uh, chip, and then through that ESP chip, we are connecting to the cloud here, right? So whereas this board, the small board, uh, it has got everything there. This is a very small $30 board, you know. It has got Wi-Fi, it has got everything there. It has got, I think, about uh, 10 ports, you know, you can do it using that. Yeah. So, yeah, any questions? I have an, another demo, we'll show it. But any questions before you go on to the uh, next session? You can type the question or you want me to show anything demo, we can show it. Uh, I want to open the chart here. Yeah, okay. I'll open the chart here. Okay. Okay. They're asking me to share my um, contact. Yeah, definitely. You know, you can uh, contact me here. why we do have things speak mobile app sir so that we can easily monitor from the app yes i never tried in the mobile app but yes we can uh, try it in the things speak mobile app my next experiment is that i never use the mobile app because everything whatever you do it on the web which is an html5 signal we can do that you know yeah i shared the contact information from any possible without any time yes is it possible to do it without any time delay yes it is possible this is an academic licensing we got, but if you go for a, a real licensing, if you pay them, then there is no delay, you know, immediately you can get it, you know. Normally we get delay of 15 seconds or 20 second delay, depending upon the licensing you have, you get that, okay. We can reduce data transfer time. Yeah, we can reduce the data transfer time if you go for a professional one, you know, yeah. Somebody says still the unable to hear your voice. So now is it, now it is clear, eyes? sir. Is it? I think voice is clear now. Now it is audible. Sorry, it's clear. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Shiva, sir. So, uh, someone is asking. Okay, it's... okay, what type of protocols are used uh, to cloud storage purpose? I think we asked this question, but the protocol we use is the MQTT, I'm going to go over that. MQTT is the main, okay? Is the core problem. Okay? MQTT core protocol, they use it that one. Yeah. Yeah. Coyap also is there. Yes, Coyap is also there. Uh, but Coyap is still, uh, you know, um, under process, you know still under development it's not really implemented yeah there's a question between what is mptt uh, and uh, IFTT. Sure. see iftt is an organization it's not a protocol you know mqtt is a protocol iftt is the one who manages this if uh, this protocol you know? iftt is a is a building force where they decide is tcp ip any internet protocol and all they are the one who divide this uh, uh, they approve this mqtt you know i mean they, i don't see any iftt protocol mqtt is a protocol iftt is a governing body you know they govern all the protocols on that so then how to implement existing automation with iot uh how to implement existing automation with iot yeah we can do the automation but i'm not sure what automation you are doing it whether you want to do it in a programming or you want to do it on a you know uh, on the hardware hardware side automation is not possible you know, unless you go for a chip right you have to go for your uh, arm enabled chip then you can do automation 
Oh, you like any Siemens PLC and PLC. I don't have much experience, uh, but I heard that uh, they are integrating the IoT embedded software to that. Effect. So, okay. okay. Difference between M2M and IoT. See, machine to machine is you communicate from phone, your um, your uh, watch or your health health any equipment as long as connected is a machine right machine to machine iot is you can connect from human being to the machine right for example i'm talking now my voice can be converted into digital and then it can be encrypted and sent to them you know? so iot is a very generic uh, fashion machine to machine is that there is no interactions human interaction automatically it goes that data you know especially uh, for this delivery you know i'm just saying that you know uh, for grocery delivery right i think you all must be up to Grocery delivery, okay, I'll just uh, settle it. Once I communicate from my computer to the, say, safe or uh, any other uh, grocery shop, it will go there and then it communicate with that. And it's a machine to machine. I'm not talking or I'm not doing anything there. It's just going from one machine to another machine there. Okay. So, okay. Sir, I have a question, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I'm working on multimedia data. So what is the protocol used for multimedia data, sir? So good question. So multimedia, you know that multimedia, you have a MPEG-2, uh, MPEG-4 or JPEG or MP4 or your uh, uh, S.264 video, right? I mean, these are the multimedia files, if I understand correctly, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you want to connect that to an uh, IoT, uh, what you should do is that first of all, you should find a proper uh, hardware for that because video or multimedia you know, takes a lot of memory space, right? Um, yes, sir. You cannot just uh, send like a data. These are all, you know, just two bit or one bit data, right? I mean, just you know, less than two K, K of bit, but that will be coming in a megabit. And just up. So in short, we tried with the Raspberry Pi with a computer vision. You know, we just tried from machine learning. Uh, it is about 25 uh, mega bits or something like that bit. So um, uh, you need to find a really good processor to process it. You know, and output you can connect it to say for example uh, Qualcomm. You know, Snapdragon has got a processor, right? You can connect it. Now, how do you connect? Again, you connect to some uh, general purpose I/O board. It will not happen okay. in one pin. No? You need to have multiple pins for that. You have to send the data in parallel, you know, because video doesn't okay. come in just one bit or two bit, you know. So I tried earlier with the Snapdragon board. Recently, we tried with uh, uh, with Raspberry Pi for a computer vision. You know? I mean, you take the camera, uh, we connect the camera output to the hardware to detect the object, right? We store some object. That's also multimedia files on the right to detect some object. It takes that okay. files in the GPIO and then convert it. In. You can use a simple Raspberry Pi board just for proof of concept, but you need to have a real, real good hardware to connect hardware. your any multimedia files. In. You cannot connect to Raspberry Pi. I mean the Arduino board or simple micro. You need to have a solid CPU, central processing CPU. unit. Okay, okay. okay Thank you, sir. Okay, good. And what is the localization in IoT? Uh, localization in IoT, I don't get it. What is that question? What is localization in IoT? Maybe you must be talking about the edge computing, right? Earlier, uh, you know, uh, the professor was talking about the edge computing, right? So that's what uh, its localization is. You don't have to send the data to the cloud, you know? Why don't you process it locally here, no? That is a localization of the IoT. Here, no? yeah. You don't need to send the data to that. All right. All right. So, um, any other question? Is there a chance to hack? I <laughs> is a good question. Is there a hack? Yes, you can hack any device. But uh, you know, uh, when it comes to the hardware like this, very difficult to hack. You know. Software anybody can hack in the Java in a JTME programming and all we can have but in the hardware If you encrypt it, you really cannot hack it, you know, you can really you know uh, 
make it a, a possibility uh, to encrypt your data there you know for example i cannot get anything data from this microcontroller right but if it is software yes j2e java anything you take it c is a very solid robotics program i mean you are all faculty and you have gone through you would teach in c c is a very solid programming but when it comes to java it's got a lot of uh, holes you know anyone can hack anything like that oh what is the default buffer size and maximum buffer size of iot device this one is a very good question it's a more of a research uh, uh, i would uh, you know probably need to do need to research i don't know what is the minimum and what is the maximum you know i need to research and come back get back to you i can note down here if you can send me an email then i can let you know on that buffer size okay okay every device iot device yeah i think every device is connected to the iot device but it's going through uh, your networking software mqtt software and then connecting to the uh, internet right it's just like that internet is not connecting it so anything you are connecting from a microcontroller to the internet is hackable but anything you are connecting within this is hardwired right like i was telling you somebody is asking a question you are connecting a sensor to the microcontroller unit through a wire you know so all these uh, sensor whatever i we have here these are all connected uh, through a wire you, know? you cannot just hack unless you tap that wire and induce that you know? okay there's a question about say about auto iot applications i think i talked about in the first session what are the different applications but i'm going to share some of them uh, nist uh, projects sometime tomorrow i'll share that you know oh there is somebody i think is not my this thing asking audio pin i think audio pin um, audio pin maybe somebody has to give him the audio pin please i have got one audio pin here yeah okay so uh, yes dr raju and team can i can you can take a break here and then come back for the session too and yeah okay we can, we can take a break on the logistics yeah, also break, i don't want to uh, for keep one talking. Hour. i want it to be very clear so maybe 5 10 minutes uh, i need to test one more time my system so is it a good time to take a break and then uh, even the faculty and researchers also can you know take a break um, in between i i need to test with the itp team in here <laughs> Yes, sir, we will take the break for Sorry, one hour and we'll I mean, start. Over to you. We'll start at exactly one o'clock. Start the session at one o'clock. We'll start the session at one o'clock. What is that? We'll start at exactly one o'clock, sir. One o'clock. Okay. One o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So I want to connect to the IT team, please. Let us resolve this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sir, right. Mm. Thank you all. Thank you.
ఎక్కడ ఇది లాగ్అవుట్ 